Welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, at the uh, with today's video of the Tesla Semi Factory for July 31st, 2024. The theme for today's video is building the machine that builds the machine. And the final machine in that sentence is the Tesla Semi. This is the building that's going to do it, and this is the current stat status of the construction at the Tesla Semi factory construction area. The focus is on footings. The footings, there's more footings working from northwest to northeast and then southward, a little bit less than working in the other direction. This is the initial takeoff from my drone uh, location. And we get a nice look at the uh, things coming into view, all of the uh, metal material in front of us that were delivered probably three weeks ago. And we pan over to the left, which is towards the east. We're looking from the north, looking due east. But in general, we are north of the um, factory construction site. It's a high level view. You can see Legacy Giga Nevada in the back at the top left. And we'll get a little better look at it. We're just taking a nice left to right pan to orient ourselves. One thing you'll notice when we get um, some of the close ups from a higher elevation is it's a very interesting variation on the size of the footings, which in retrospect, I'm sure will make perfect sense. And right now, all we can do is try to postulate why certain foundations have been dug bigger and deeper. And you'll notice that for the first times along the northern perimeter grade, they've dug some bigger footings right along the uh, right along that exterior grade. And um, Chuck Knox once said that hindsight is always 2020. And once we see how they place different equipment, stamping machines, battery production, and whatnot, it'll probably make perfect sense. Now we get a little better view of um, where the concrete has been poured. We're looking at the uh, western perimeter on the right, the western perimeter grade. And uh, the one thing that's conspicuous by its absence today is there are no concrete deliveries as of 7 to 7.30 this morning. And that is not too early for them to be delivering. I think they're maybe pausing, letting the Semex company fill some other orders until they're ready to uh, start the uh, procession of concrete trucks again. There's also no crane on site yet. It's not unexpected. This concrete will take 30 days to cure. Some, some, some viewers have speculated that since that they could begin the post construction or placement earlier because they won't be bearing any load. But I imagine they'll be conservative and just wait. Here it looks like the drone is coming in, a uh, beginning drone pilot is coming in for a landing. That's actually just a, a, an automated feature of the uh, DJI Air 3. It's called Master Shots. And basically, it takes over and does this uh, sequence of um, maneuvers. I have cut out, by popular demand, I have cut out where, it, where the camera looks straight down and then um, flies forward. I seem to get a lot of uh, complaints about that, thinking I was doing it on purpose. And it, was, and it is a little um, disorienting and doesn't really add a lot of value. I guess for a certain type of shot, it helps set the scene. But in general, when I did it, all you saw was dirt straight down because I am flying just adjacent to the property at this time. Even though we know I am legally allowed to fly over the property above 250 feet, 
I'm trying not to poke the bear and we'll be working, attempting to work with Tesla in Nevada to get some sort of understanding. This is a slow pan, panoramic view of the area and uh, some of the beautiful high desert of Nevada. If you go out that way a little bit to the uh, east, like that direction, you'll find Pyramid Lake, a world-class uh, cutthroat trout fishing lake that is one of the primary reasons I moved to the area. Now back to the focus on the footings. In addition to footing work, if you look closely, you'll see they've uh, commenced to dig a lot of trenches, especially over on the right, which we don't get a great look at right now, but they're digging utility trenches, and um, that also informs us. And we can look back at the beginning of the um, video at the rendering, and you can see where the, uh, where the rendering places certain um, tanks, and that, that also is a clue. Here are roof trusses along the eastern border, and what this is is a road leading from the secondary gate along up to the Giga Nevada Legacy Building, and work continues to move the bottom edge of the mountain along this eastern edge of the construction site near the new entrance. And I had previously speculated that maybe that was going to be for employee parking, but looking at the rendering, I think this is going to be a roundabout. So as soon as you come in past the, uh, the second gate, you can either go through that roundabout and then straight to the um, Giga Nevada proper, the existing battery production and drive motor production and power wall production facility, or turn right to make to make uh, supplier deliveries to the Gigafactory uh, Tesla semi-factory, the high volume semi-factory once it's complete. I believe it's likely that all truck deliveries will enter through this new gate once it's completed and then proceed up to the legacy Giga Nevada or over to the uh, semi-factory when it's completed. It's a nice view of um, Giga Nevada. Still plenty of activity there. It's probably eight years old. And in the middle of the screen is one of the warehouse on wheels. This The whole semi-factory construction site was a giant wow or warehouse on wheels where where supplier parts were stored. And in preparation for this construction, they moved all the trailers out and up to that spot, which I call the Tesla Northern Wow. And then above that is the Panasonic end of the building, so I call that the P Panasonic Wow. And if that's, that's two of the new Wows, warehouse on wheels that were made and we're about to see the third one. That right there is the third one, and I think they stage them there and then move them in as needed. But three warehouse on wheels replace the one existing, pre-existing giant one. Here's a nice slow panorama right in the middle of the screen. We just been, went by the prototype semi-facility where I caught 20 prototype constructed semis on Friday. And that was very exciting to see. And in the future, you'll see uh, that increase exponentially. Instead of 20, you'll see thousands of those being produced. And that's the day we all look forward to. At the end of the video, you'll see some of those semis. And uh, going back to the theme of today's video, the, the machine that builds the machine, is we are, they're now building the, the factory, which is the machine that builds the semi, and you'll get a good look at the finished product at the end of this. This is very interesting. This is the, removing the last remaining uh, material from that mountain near the guard shack, and these are giant um, haul packs or heavy, heavy dump trucks, and that, that um, loader is so huge that um, it takes two scoops of that loader to fill this truck up. 
And then what, it, what the truck has been doing for the last several weeks is moving that material over to the southwest end of the construction site and pretty much filling in a valley and making it um, usable land. So I believe that may have been the second dump and, and that truck is full. I watched that truck pull away. And once again, here's the end of the video with the product of all this work, a bunch of Tesla semis, a, uh, a, an amp of Tesla semis or a platoon or a convoy. Anyway, thanks for joining and uh, I'll try to get you another video in about three days and see if cement has pouring has begun again. Thanks a lot.